promised you a skin tone mixing tutorial with the Prang Oval 8 watercolors. These are student grade, and by student grade, I mean very young student grade, washable watercolors. You can get these on Amazon. You might be able to pick them up at Walmart, and you can get them at Jerry's Artorama, which is where I got mine. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Most skin tones, I say most, not all, most skin tones are made up with some combination of yellow, orange, red, and some brown. You can mix in some purple, you can mix in some blue, you can mix in some black, and I highly recommend you guys play around and you mix different colors and you see what combinations work to you, work for you, and maybe even keep notes. So, the other day when we were doing our field test, I mixed up several different sort of combinations of colors. These could, most of these could be used as skin tones or as blush for skin tones. Let's go ahead and swatch really quick the base colors I was talking about. That's our yellow. Our, hmm, I gotta clean my orange out, it got polluted. It's our red and that's our brown. And the brown is sort of kind of a milky, I guess, color. I'm gonna do my mixing here on my Ink Central's craft sheet. You can use the lid on your palette as well. And I find that different brands have uh, different mixing properties. So I just mix some, grab some yellow, grab some orange, grab some red. Let's go ahead and swatch that. When that dries, it's going to be a very pale Caucasian skin tone. Grab a little bit of brown or maybe a lot of bit of brown. Swatch that. That's a warmer skin tone and if you dilute it, it can still work as a Caucasian skin tone. It can work as the basis of many different African and African American darker skin tones. Um, it can even work for many Asian and Indian skin tones. So this has a higher concentration, I believe, of red and orange. So you're going to get a darker, almost a sun-kissed or a sun-burnt sort of skin tone. And then we'll actually grab a little bit of black and we'll see how that affects it. It's going to neutralize that color a little bit, darken it a little bit so it's not as hot. Add a lot of yellow. And the reason we're mixing orange in, I know yellow and red make orange, but this is actually um, the red that is included in this set. And I'll pull out so you go, no, guess I'm not. Move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. The red that is included in this set is a very blue red. So we're using orange as sort of a like a, a scarlet red instead. So we're gonna grab a little bit of blue this time and we'll see what we get. If we add blue, it's actually going to, it would norm, let's grab some more blue. It's not blue enough. See, blue is actually going to desaturate and neutralize the color and make it more of a gray. So, skin tones, adding a lot more brown to this mix we'd already mixed up with brown. Skin tones can be really easy. You can start with just four colors or you can even mix from a smaller selection than that. Um, if you guys watch my Daniel Smith Essential 6 mixing color video, and I know that is a vastly different quality of paint, but um, that'll give you an idea of what you can mix with just six colors, three, two reds, two yellows, two blues. So we're grabbing brown, and the only problem with this Ink Essential sheet is that it wants to repel the water, so it doesn't absorb it but I can't get the water off my brush. And I'm gonna add in some of that red and that's gonna give you a warmer, richer brown. And then add in some black. With a set like this, the brown is only gonna get so dark. So you can start mixing in black to get a darker brown. Like that and grab some brown again. And I may have to do a more official skin tone mixing video where I use my butcher's tray so that you guys can better see what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab some of this blue and mix it in with our brown. And that's gonna give us a cooler, more desaturated brown. 
and pretty much everything but this over here where it's very blue um, and is separated out. Any of these will work okay for skin tones. And as you guys can see, um, it's very easy to mix a variety. I would suggest you keep a swatch sheet of paper handy and that way you can test as you go. But it's very easy to mix up a variety of skin tones from an eight color children's set. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing how to do this with a more professional set of watercolors, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to oblige. This is sort of just an impromptu thing since I promised it in the praying video. I didn't want to I didn't want to break my promise to you guys. And as always, I'm interested in hearing what you guys want to learn. Do you want to see me put some of these skin tones to the test and put them in action? Let me know that in the comments as well. So it's always good to hang out with you guys and I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye guys. So while putting everything away, I realized I should probably show you guys what these skin tones look like after they've dried since sometimes colors can shift drastically. And since most of these were very thinly mixed, you're not getting too much of that glycerin gleam. There's a little bit where it's sort of pooled, but in general, I think you could probably do additional layers on top of these colors. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.